All right, guys. So um, I got a new light from Harbor Freight. It is the Braun, and it's got the adjustable angle head, and it also will swivel 180 degrees. Uh, it's got the big light bar here with two brightness settings, and then in the end, it's got a little light here. Um, it is rechargeable. It USB-C to recharge it, and um, I don't know what run times are. You can look it up on Harbor Freight's website. Um, another thing that's really cool about this is one, there's a magnet in the end, and so you can stick it on to, you know, underneath the car hood or whatever, and then position the light however you need it. Another thing that's kind of neat is the end of it will thread off, and the actual battery, the lithium cell, is replaceable which is kind of neat. If lithium cell ever goes bad, you can just swap a new one in. And the charge controller is all built into the handle up here. Um, when it's on, you will see the power switch lights up. It is super bright. Um, you got bright, low, and then the flashlight at the end. And so I really wanted this just for uh, working on cars, sticking it under the hood, um, something that's rechargeable. I've got a big drop light with the magnet and whatnot, but the cord hanging on it will oftentimes pull the magnet loose. Um, and so I wanted something that was rechargeable and I didn't have to keep putting batteries in. Another thing that I realized once I got this is I can kind of use this, instead of using like a headlamp around my head, if I go up in the attic or whatever, is because it folds over like this, I can either stick the handle in the pocket of my jeans so it's shining light out forward, or I could even do it like over my shirt. And so it just makes it a really handy kind of hands-free situation. Um, the magnet on the back is, is really strong. Um, it holds really well. My concern is because I do a little bit of everything in my shop. Um, sometimes I'll get some steel shavings or, you know, close to the drill press or by the lathe. And then if I go to stick this on a car, um, fender of a car working on brakes or whatever, I don't want all of these steel shavings stuck to the magnet on the bottom of this. So what I did is I designed and 3D printed a little cap that goes over um, the little groove here on the bottom. I've just got some detents built into this. And so, so it's kind of a snug fit. And so it won't, it won't pull off super easy, but it it's loose enough that you can rotate it. And if you get some metal shavings or something stuck to this magnet, all you have to do is go over a trash can, pull it off, and the metal shavings fall into the trash can. So, uh, really like this light so far. Um, just got it, so I haven't really used it much. Um, but if you don't have one, it was, uh, I think, $29.99 or wait for a coupon or something. And if you're interested in the little cover here, uh, I just printed this in PLA. You could probably also print it in TPU, might even be better, give it a little grip. And I will put a link to this model down in the description. If you have a 3D printer, you can go print your own. Uh, otherwise, there's plenty of printing services out there that could print one for you as well. Um, I did print this uh, using a 0.6 nozzle and a really tall layer height. I used like almost a half millimeter layer height. So there are definitely layer lines, but it's a functional print. I don't really need for it to look good as long as it does what it's supposed to do. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like what I do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, we'll see you later.